Hello and welcome to another episode in our van build series. As you can see we brought you outside and that's because we've started to make our bed. But today we'll be talking to you all about the back doors and the side doors and how to fit ply to them. Video, we're going to explain all the mistakes we made while we were fitting these ply panels to our doors and then we're going to explain exactly how we overcame these problems and we ended up finding a really quick easy way to make them. When we were looking at how to do our back doors we struggled to find a lot of information so we decided to make this video to help anyone that was in the same position as we were and if you like the look of the solid ply the whole way down stick around and we'll show you exactly what to do. A lot of people actually leave their doors with a lot of metal showing but because we wanted to put insulation underneath and also because our doors are bright red we decided to cover them but since then we've painted all of these in between bits with some white metal paint and it looks really nice. We chose to use the same ply we did for the walls which is 3.6 millimeters, and it's been very handy because it's quite thin which means that it can follow the curve of the back doors very easily. The first door was a complete experiment, we had absolutely no idea what we were doing. We were lucky because our doors had a sheet of really thick MDF, it was kind of cut to the right shape. So we used that as a guide and we cut our new ply slightly bigger than that, just so it was easier for us to hold it up to the door and draw around it. As we held it up, all we had to do was cut out a little bit for this, a little bit for this bulge and a little bit for the bulge up top. And that allowed us to get a really rough size where we could hold it against there and see what we needed to do next. we needed to do was cut a little circle for this to go through this is just for the handle we don't have a handle yet but we'll get one um, so we just put a little blob of black paint onto this little sticky outy knob and then we put the ply on top and it left a little mark and then we knew where to cut it and we just cut it with a little hole saw following that what we did was we took a pencil and we sketched the edge of the doorway following this curve here so that the ply would be sat nicely against the edge of the door but as you will soon find out, that was mistake number one. We spent ages and ages, literally hours, just cutting it down, putting it back on, taking it back off again because it wasn't quite right, cutting it down again. We did this for ages and we thought we'd got it right, so we just screwed it in in a couple of places and we closed the door and we realised that the ply was sticking out into this bit here, which is the rain channel, so all the water that's on the roof just channels right through here and the ply was basically in that channel, so it was going to get wet and it was such a thin ply that it would be ruined in a matter of seconds. But when the door was closed we realised that now the ply was on we could just draw around the rubber seal and that was the template we needed all along. Literally just sketched all the way around it, took the ply off, followed that line with a jigsaw and trimmed it, bam, put it back on, perfect fit. How easy was that? So after all of our hard work, we came back the next day to start working on the second door and instead of taking us about five hours, it actually took us under an hour with our newfound knowledge. Now that we know that the ply had to sit on the inside, all we did was give it a really rough cut. We took some care while cutting out these bulges, but other than that, we just made it small enough so that we could shut the door. We then just took the pencil, went around the trimming again, took it off, used the jigsaw to trim that, put it back up and it was pretty much finished, we just needed a little bit extra to just trim it down properly and make it to the perfect size. And that was it. It was so much more simple. We couldn't believe how easy it actually was once we'd mastered it, and the only thing that went wrong on our second door was when we drilled into the metal, the drill just got tangled in the recycled bottle insulation, and we literally couldn't get it out. So we had to take the ply off to untangle it all and then put the ply back on. So quick warning, the recycled bottle insulation is really strong and don't drill into it.
sliding doors, we already had this nice convenient lower half, so all we needed to do was add an extra top half. We wanted to keep this in two sections because we liked the idea of being able to remove just the lower half if we ever needed to fix the door handle. And also, this was completely usable, so why not use it? Even though there are two different types of wood here, this is the stuff that was already in the van and this is the new stuff. It's now all painted white and it looks really nice and neat. Another thing we had to do was take our vapour barrier off and put it on slightly differently because we realised it was spreading too far out and because we needed the plier to be inside the rubber seal we just had to move our vapour barrier so it wasn't showing. For the upper half all we had to do was take some paper which we tucked underneath the rubber seal all the way around, took a pencil, did the same thing with the back doors where we just marked all around, we then took this paper off, cut around the line, put the paper down onto a nice fresh sheet of ply, drew another line around that just to be safe so we weren't just cutting next to paper and that was it. We used a jigsaw to cut this piece of ply and it didn't quite fit because there's a bit of a curve that goes up here so we had to just keep cutting it until we got it right and eventually it was perfect. And that brings us to the end of the video. And if you like this video please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if you click the little bell button you'll be notified when we post a new video which is every Sunday. And we hope that that helped you. I mean, it's such a simple trick, but it's something that we really wish we knew before we started. And next week, we're going to be talking about our ceiling. So we will see you then.